Uh, I grew up in Philadelphia. As a matter of fact, was born um, and educated there. And um, I lived in a small house in the Germantown section, which is a very old established section uh, and, and historic in many ways of Philadelphia. And um, there were six children. Um, I was the middle child, uh, two older brothers and an older sister and two younger sisters. And um, what was interesting about the experience, it was a um, small street. As a matter of fact, it was a dead end street. And it was all uh, populated by African American families who had migrated from the South. When you would exit from Earlham Street, if you went right, it was a Jewish community. And when you went left, it was Italian community. But we didn't socialize at the time. So my growing up years has always been focused pretty much on that block. But something else happened there. I was always curious about other cultures. And I think it was sort of um, uh, the beginnings was that walking out of Earlham Street, and there was different. I think there were, you know, ethnic cultures, and they too have were sometimes recent arrivals uh, to the state. So they had that sense of the Italian culture and the, uh, the Jewish culture, and I was fascinated. And I think in the very beginning, it made me think about a bigger, bigger world. Um, both my mother and my father encouraged us. Uh, to draw uh, as we were growing up. So there, there was always some instrument to make a mark with, uh, or there were paper, there was paper, some materials that I could actually mark on. And I think we all did, and we were encouraged, and I'm not quite sure where that came from because there were no artists in the family or in the neighborhood. Uh, I think back on it now and I smile because I think largely it had to do also with keeping us busy. When I was growing up early, when I didn't, we didn't have a television in our home. So we made things. And I think in so many ways, uh, the idea of creative play began at that, at that time in that place on 51 Earlham Street.